Hello and welcome once again to my channel. I hope you are all keeping safe and healthy at home. I am glad to have you here once again. My name is Rick Serrano. I'm an executive and life coach in Luxembourg in Central Europe and I welcome you to my channel. Today I have a very clear and simple message for you. It's three weeks now that I have been locked at home and three weeks from the first video that I put up on my YouTube channel on the point of coronavirus and how this is affecting us. Today, I still hear, I still hear people complaining about the need to be locked at home. So today I come to you and I please ask you to not, not only not to complain, but really don't even think of complaining. Please don't even think of complaining. And the reason why I say this, well, actually, let me tell you first that I recommend you and I'm going to stress the verbs that I'm using. I recommend you and I beg you do not complain, please. I'm going to emphasize again the verbs that I'm using. I recommend you and I beg you do not complain if you're uncomfortable because you're locked at home. Why do I say this? First of all, because it is useless. Complaining will not change at all either your situation or the pandemic. Your complaints are useless. So my recommendation and my beg to you is forget about them. It is also complaining. It is also unproductive because it, if you're complaining, it prevents you from doing all other this stuff that you could be doing. So it's very unproductive. It's useless and unproductive. But most importantly, most importantly, please don't complain because it would be terribly unfair. It would be tremendously unfair if you complain. Why do I say this? First of all, for those who are dying of coronavirus, the, we are close to getting to 1 million people infected and so many people are dying. By the end, by the end of this video, a lot of people would have died. So please, just for the respect for those people, do not complain. I'm not going to show you terrible images, terrible pictures, you know, nasty things. Not at all. This is not the point of dramatizing. I'm just begging you, stop complaining because you're locked at home. Secondly, please don't complain for those fighting directly on the front line. If you are at home, comfortably there at home or uncomfortably, I don't care, please don't complain because there are people fighting directly on the front line as we speak. First of all, doctors, all the, all the doctors, all the physicians working at the hospitals desperately with not enough equipment, with not enough medicines. They are there risking their lives we owe them respect, so do not complain. Secondly, the police, the armed forces, the military, everybody out there trying to put this thing in order, so don't complain for them. Third, all the nurses, all the administrative staff, all the people who clean, all the, all the cleaning staff of the hospitals, clinics, and, and all those places, please, they deserve our respect, so don't complain. Also, the people in the supply chain and the supermarkets who are, allow us to have food, who need to continue working, who can not just stop and watch Netflix comfortably at home, but do need to go and work, risking their lives, risking contagious, just because of them, do not complain. And also, for the uh, many priests who are passing away, many people hel helping psychologists, psychiatrists, and, and a lot of other professionals giving their time and many of them giving their lives uh, for supporting and helping people who are sick. I also recommend you and beg you not to complain for those who are losing their jobs or those who will be losing their jobs in the next weeks and months. Only in the U.S. alone, only in the United States, about 5 million jobs will be lost by the summer. And the thing is very similar in many other continents. This is going to hit us all. So please, for the sake of those who will be losing their jobs, do not complain. 
it is already very difficult if you don't have a job and you're looking for a job, it is already something very difficult. In my coaching practice, I help a lot of people precisely on that point. And I don't want to see how this is going to be much more conflict, complicated now that there are so many million people out there searching for a job and so many, so few, few companies hiring. So for the respect of those guys, please don't complain. Four, please, I beg you, do not complain for those going bankrupt. A lot of entrepreneurs, business owners, business managers are going to be out of business. Some of them are already out of business in many industries. This is not only about restaurants and airlines. This is about hotels. This is about transportation companies. This is about oil companies. This is about all the companies supplying those. This is about many, many things, gyms, uh, theaters, many things are going to go bankrupt because of this. So please, if you're sitting there at home and you feel uncomfortable, shut up, do not complain. And fifth, and this is touching you directly, potentially, hopefully not, but potentially, for those who will get infected close to us, close to your family, to, close to our, our families, close to our friends, even, even you, even I could get infected. So please, for the respect of these people, do not complain. The family can be hit. Your friends could be hit. So please avoid. And, you know, I know, I know many people tell me, please, Rick, say things in a positive way. Put it sweet and soft. Guys, folks, we're all adults. We're all adults. And this is a very, very big crisis. I'm going to talk to you for once, clear and directly. I'm not going to make this soft. I'm not going to put you this on the positive side. It's simply a recommendation. And I'm also begging you, do not complain, period. You are, I want you to realize that you are an amazingly fortunate individual. You must realize of this. You must be aware how fortunate you are. If you believe in something, whatever, in Christ, in, in Buddha, in the Tao, if you're a Jew, whatever you are for religion, if you believe, you know that those religions, basically all of them, invite you not to complain, but to be positive and to be active and to try to help. But if you don't believe in anything, I still respect you. I still fully respect you. If you only believe in things that can be touched, in the material things, well, even in that case, don't complain. The markets, you know, tangible things, hard stuff, is going very, very badly these days. So don't complain also, even if you only believe in those things. If you are still healthy, if you have the fortune of being healthy, please do not complain. If you still have bread on your table, whatever you have, if you have something to eat, then be thankful, express gratitude, do not complain. If you have Wi-Fi and if you're watching me, then it means you have Wi-Fi, do not complain. Wi-Fi gives you access to many, many things, so don't complain. Once again, I repeat myself for the third time, I recommend you and I beg you, do not complain. Do not complain, please, please, please. I am hearing it all over, all over the place. Do not complain about the homeschooling. I know how hard that is. We have several kids here at home. I know how it is getting the homeworks, getting so many things to do with so many platforms, needing to print, needing to download, needing to upload this platform and Teams and Zoom and Skype and email and the other and the thing. I know how it is. Please, mothers, please, fathers, do not complain. And kids, please cooperate. Do not complain about being locked at home, that you cannot go to restaurants, that you cannot go to bars, that you cannot go to your favorite gym, that you cannot go. Just don't complain. Just avoid it, please. And very importantly, do not complain about your partner. Yeah, maybe, of course, you were not planning on spending so much time with your significant other. Well, it is like this. Don't complain, don't fight, increase your level of tolerance, decrease your level of sensibility, increase your patience, don't fight. You guys need to be together, you need to be united to go through this thing. In summary, 
simply do not complain. Seize the day, try to make use of all those 24 hours that you have, not all of them for yourself. I know I still have to work. We still need to work. We still need to do a lot of stuff, but try to make the best use of your day possible. Use all your energy. You have all, all that energy. You are healthy, so you have energy. Use it. And enjoy family. If you're, you are with your family, enjoy. If you're not with your family, well, you can connect remotely. The same goes for your friends. You can use Zoom, you can use Skype, you can use Teams, you can use WhatsApp, you can use FaceTime. There's so many things. You cannot complain. Or use the old, you know, simple telephone. Study. Take some time for study. Take some time for reflection, for meditation, for prayer, for whatever is good for you. Make, may, take advantage of so many courses that are being offered for free on the internet. All of the universities, museums, galleries are offering so many studying materials for free. Uh, use them now or simply, you know, relax, uh, relax comfortably, watch a series, watch Netflix, watch a movie, I don't care. Or do housekeeping. You can do so many things at home. There's that room that needs to be sorted out, the other room that needs to be cleaned up, you know, so many things to do at home. In summary, do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Just please do not complain. I repeat, it is useless, it is unproductive, but most importantly, it is terribly unfair. Thank you very much. This is Rick Serrano, executive and life coach, saying hello from Luxembourg. Stay, stay healthy, please stay healthy. If you need more advice, if you want to talk, there is my website. You can contact me. I'm here for you. And most importantly, stay at home, be thankful, express gratitude, do not complain. Thank you. I'll see you here for the next one.